nano and nature mother nature has a lot to teach if you only listen by discovering nature you discover yourself yeah my dears we have a lot to learn from mother nature even small small things teach us more though they are invisible photosynthesis is the best example for natural process where one can amaze how the plants absorb water from the roots and supply the same to all its parts how the plants trap sunlight how the plants release out oxygen and help the mankind and animals to breathe and fixes the higher percentage of carbon dioxide how the plants prepare their own food starts how they are capable in storing energy and no one has reached the efficiency of photosynthesis in storing energy you know one thing this photosynthesis takes place in a double walled membrane structure chloroplast and its size approximates a spheroid of about 2500 nanometer thickness and 5000 nanometer long coconut shells have a value that is vitally important in water filtration and preserving the environment coconut shells are a wonderful resource because they are a high grade natural form of carbon carbon from coconut shells have a higher volume of micropores for filtration than coal wood or carbon based on lignite coconut shells have been shown throughout recent history to be extremely effective for removing contaminants from drinking water and produces tasty purified water coagulation is one of the methods used in drinking water treatment that is for water purification the use of chemical coagulant like alum is not safe for human health its high cost low availability neurotoxicity and strong carcinogenic properties are also the reasons for not preferring chemical coagulants natural coagulants are safe for human health and also biodegradable no factory does water purification as efficiently as coconut shells or watermelons no one can facilitate energy transfer or electron transfer as efficiently as biomolecules the brain of one person can in principle store and process more information than today's computers the t cell symbolized the highest technology of the neolithic era the man who could make his t cells better would get a greater share of food the best or most high tech product today would be the super chips used in the fastest computers these in the course of production from sand to wafers and then to integrated circuits it is unlikely for any movie camera to capture visuals more vividly than the human eye most early warning systems are primitive when compared to the sixth sense of animals the olfactory receptors of the dog are much more sensitive than the sensors we have developed today the dogs have 300 million olfactory receptors but we the human beings have 6 million olfactory receptors well all these functions are performed in nature without any fanfare this has been happening since time immemorial and with precision each time the world is yours to explore there is a plenty of room at the bottom to visit let's take an excursion to an excavation in nanoscale even lesser than that in my next video thank you